happens there. I was like, oh, treat it like an ice cream cone. You don't eat an ice cream cone from like 10 feet away. I'm like, don't tell me how to eat ice cream. Anyway, here we go. Some real drama. You know, I, I don't actually know if there's real drama here. This is not exactly my region. I know that Kakajin is from Washington, so... Just a bit of an off-stream update. It does appear as though Big D and Firefly are defeating Timmy and Tommy. And that's a winner's semis match. So anyway, here we go. Whoa, mirror match. Okay, that's pretty cool. Diddy Kong Sheik, I think, is like a pretty good team, but just not as good as Sheik Pikachu. I don't know. Sheik, Sheik plus anyone is really good. Because Sheik has a very uh, versatile moveset. She's just so good. It's unbelievable. Anyway, relatively even. Slight advantage for the red team here. Oh, very, very nice punish by Kakajin on that jab. Oh, an unfortunate up smash, but luckily Blue Sheik is living. Uh, Jonix goes for those rocket barrels a lot. Oh. Gets punished for it, but you know what? The Punisher becomes the Punishy. And that, and that is the sign of a really good doubles player. You can just see situations like that, and even though it might look like it's a bad situation for his teammate, he just turns it into a good situation for the team as a whole. Like, right, right there. Uh, Blue Sheik did the down throw, and he just, instead of letting Sheik get the full combo on his partner, he starts comboing the other Sheik. Because all of Sheik's moves don't really do that much damage, but she just gets a lot of them, so letting him take one throw in exchange for like a three hit string, definitely a solid trade for Kakujin's team. And as we can see, all these slight trades are paying off. It is a one stock lead for the red team right now, with percentage leads on the next stock as well. Oh, we got some funny stuff happening, almost a, almost a Diddy Kong side B kill, but he was just a little bit too close to the stage. Ooh, nice ledge trump by Kakujin, not quite finishing him off. Separated into two different character dittos, and Kakujin manages to finish off the Sheik, but gets finished off himself by G-Man. G-Man TCD? I'm not 100% sure what their actual gamer tags are. Back there almost actually killing Jonix. But not quite. Thanks, Sakura. Thanks, Vectoring. Stage control, oh, it, it was stage control for the red team, but they just switched that up. Okay, there we go, now they have stage control again. Gonna make it really tough for uh, blue team to get back on. Diddy Kong was trapped on that platform for a second. He managed to get it back. Bouncing fish going everywhere. I'm not even sure whose bouncing fish is bouncing off of what anymore. Um, Kakujin hanging out, hanging out off stage just to cover Jonix's recovery in case he didn't quite release it at the right time, but he managed to recover. Ooh, Jonix going for that very high up B. It kills so early, so I mean, it's kind of worth it to go for it. Is he going to go for the edge? No, he's going to go right for the Sheik. You know, sometimes falling right into the opponent is, is like a pretty cool bait because, I mean, you wouldn't really expect it. When you think of trying to cover someone's options, you want to like stand still and then try to predict where they're going to land and hit that. I mean, you, you wouldn't really expect them to fall right on you. Unfortunately, the Sheik was, and he was just like, hey, I'm going to charge an up smash. But... It was all for naught because a very solid, convincing three stock by Kakujin and Jonix. There's, uh. I don't know if there's gonna be a character switch. I don't know if these players play other characters, but maybe the mirror matchup, not quite what they wanted. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, looks like they're going to uh, town and city. Not sure, still on the character switch. Uh, Kakujin and Jonix, I'm 99% sure are going to stay. I haven't ever seen Kakujin since since he's been picking up Sheik. I haven't seen him play anything except for Sheik in bracket. I do know that he has like a couple other pocket Zelda characters. And I say Zelda characters because I'm pretty sure it's like Toon Link and regular Link and Zelda. 
just not Ganondorf, apparently. But I mean, really, who would ever want to play Ganondorf? Oh, look at that. They do have the character switch going. So here we go. Zero Suit Diddy now. Zero Suit, another uh, lower damage combo heavy character, kind of like Sheik. I would say Zero Suit definitely does a lot more damage per combo than Sheik does. Or at least the shorter combos that have to happen in doubles. Because, I mean, with Sheik you can't do like five forward airs all the way across the stage and then uh, bouncing fish at the side like you can in singles. Unless your partner's like really good at distracting. So far, uh... Quite a bit of a lead for the for the red team right now, but you know things can definitely change. Wow, very bizarre uh, elongated kick hitbox by Zero Suit Samus. I didn't see that being as effective as it was. And we have highish presents on everyone. Just a second, I'm being called. I'm on stream. Okay, so two stocks on everyone except for Kakujin. Kind of to be expected. He's very good at surviving. Um, doesn't usually. I mean, I don't want to say dumb stuff, but a lot of character or a lot of players in this game kind of get hit by things that are quote unquote not legit. Uh, Kakujin very good at avoiding the jank. If if you kill Kakujin, it feels good because you know that you did it in some like super legitimate way. He, he's just a very smart player, that's what I'm getting at. And he does have that rage now, so he could, in fact, get a kill on either of these characters. With that low ceiling, that upper was, like, very close. The jab was apparently very close from Diddy Kong. Zero Suit trying to cover his options at the ledge. Not able to do it because Jonix was there. Now, two stocks for everyone, but, of course, Diddy Kong at a little bit higher percent. Oh, Zero Suit Samus just flying everywhere, killing his own teammate. It's quite unfortunate. Oh. Up air getting pretty close, and up air actually succeeding to kill that time. Pretty convincing lead for the red team now. Doubles, though. Anything could happen. Uh, I'm not 100% sure why Jonix was charging that. He really got quite the punish for it. Oh, nice footstool by Kakujin. An oft-overlooked situation. Or an uh, oft-overlooked uh, option. So I think that, that we're saying fourth throw into custom up B. Down throw into custom up B. Oh, he just wants to grab on the platform. That would have been funny. And instead we just get chic bread and butter. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Dare suicide. And there you have it. Red team, Kakabu, advancing to the next round of losers. We are now going to have winner's finals, all Canada on.